folks, and welcome to another Adventures of Scott Michelle. Today's adventure takes you to the house on the rock in Spring Green, Wisconsin. We're going to try to show you the the house itself because when we've done videos of this in the past, we're, for some reason it didn't record the house. So today we're going to show you the actual house itself. Yeah, so join us in another one of our adventures. Thanks. So right as you enter in, before you purchase your tickets, they have this really neat, cool looking uh, water fountain. It's really neat and cool. And this would be uh, the entrance to where you purchase your tickets for uh, House on the Rock. Okay, folks, so this is inside the museum. The Alex Jordan Center. Yeah, the Alex Jordan Center. It's right after you pay the tickets, the next building you go to. Yeah, so right after you pay the tickets, this would be the next building you would go to. To build a retreat as awe inspiring as the view from the rock upon which the house would eventually be built. And the house sits on Deer Shelter Rock. Deer Shelter Rock is a truly remarkable achievement. The house yeah. was only the beginning. In the years that followed, Alex expanded his vision beyond the house and collected and built on a massive scale. In the end, he had created the world-renowned attraction known as the House on the Rock. Perhaps some of your basic questions can be answered with a little insight into the background of the man behind the creation, Alex Jordan. It all began in 1945 when a man named Alex Jordan had a tower in gold to build a tree as an all inspired as the beautiful rock on which the homes would eventually be built. But to shape on and around the deer shelter rock is a true model. Oh, yeah, honey, that's the house. An early model of the house, yes. That is so neat. So this would be Alex Jordan's girlfriend, uh, Jeannie. They had a they had a long, about fifty-year relationship. Wow. Wow, she's really beautiful. Mm -hmm. And this is a picture of Alex and his uh, little dog, Tinker. Oh, Tinker's so cute. And I guess this would have been like the guest registration book. Uh, back in the day, you can see some dates on here from like 1960. He had his first uh, uh, room, like the mill house, was like a, an extra room, um, an extra like museum. And then he also built uh, like the streets of yesteryear, was like the next museum that he built, which was uh, really cool. You can see some of that in our other uh, videos and things. Oh yeah. And this right here, folks, is the world's largest carousel ride. 
That is so neat. Now, I forgot how many lights it said it had on it, but I know tons. It's a few hundred thousand, and yeah. let's just say I don't want to pay the electricity for that. And... No, me neither. Uh uh. This is a real neat, cool looking uh, ship. This is a really, really cool ship. I'm not too sure what it's made out of, but this is really cool. Wood. Wood. Wow. Amazing wood carving. Oh, wood carving. Oh, wow. They take forever to do this. Oh, yeah. Man, just look at that. It is so beautiful. Oh, my God. That is really neat. Now we are entering in the gatehouse. This the is, gatehouse. This is sort of like the welcome house at the bottom. Got like a big um, book collection. It's also our gated, so you can't really go pick out a book. Caution, low ceiling. Yeah, be careful about that going down these stairs. Welcome to my house, honey. Yeah. Nice place to get out here. Thank you. Um, looks like we got sort of been like some sort of kind of big fancy uh, I don't know what you call this, like I could kitchen cave or something. Pretty cool. The lighting in here is pretty dim. Wow. Just love all the stained uh oh. also have to watch your step around here too. Not just watch your head but watch your step. Look at a nice beautiful uh uh, yeah, oh, nice yeah. plant. I like oh, that. Yeah, I'd like it too. And then this is like one of the many music machines around, around here. Self, self playing instruments. I think it's like air, air pressure is what powers this. It's really cool. Love this interesting dining table. Beautiful lamp. And see this nice, uh, nice. I don't know. It would be like early late 1950s, early 1960s kitchen. I believe this was an oven. And I don't think you can open any of the. No, oh, you can't open the doors. First time I'm ever doing this. Inside of the oven. Yeah, it is. Nice grill. Well, you can do indoor grilling. Oh, so it must have some good ventilation. Oh, that'd be good. So you can do some year-round indoor grill grilling. Another, another old oven. Man, I would just love to have this outside my kitchen. You can see this nice little gravel garden and then you have the windows on the other side is the original uh, the original Japanese garden is uh, is back there too and look at honey they have this like nice, beautiful like uh, vase uh -huh. and this beautiful lamp I like it it's yeah. really nice sink old refrigerator yeah you can't open that we can't open wow Frost free. Cool.
now we're going to be walking up to the actual house itself. So you go up, go outside, and there's this uh, long covered walkway that goes up. So there's quite a bit of incline right here to go up to the actual house itself. Yeah, and I, I heard to do the whole entire um, house on the rock, to do all three of them. It's like a four mile walk, is what I heard. It's about, it's at least two and a half. Two and a half mm. to do the, the house as well as the, the two other muse museum uh, sections. Yeah, so we are going to get quite a workout today, but it is a beautiful, gorgeous day. It's like, I believe, in the 60s. Yeah, like 60 degrees. Yeah, so it's nice. And this would be the rock right here. Yeah, the actual rock that the house sits on. Well, if you look farther down, there's some actual stairs. You see a few stairs. And then oh, it, they yeah. used to have like a metal stairway that used to come down that you could lift up. Um, so there used to be like a retractable metal stairway that you could bring up and down here. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Now we are entering the house itself. Oh, I just love these like stained glass windows. Oh yeah, it is beautiful. Welcome to my lounging area. Oh wow, honey, this is nice. Mm -hmm. You have a nice setup here. Mm -hmm. Want to tell us a little bit about it? Well, looks like you have some grills here, so you can do some uh, some more grilling. Um, and uh, it's a nice, uh, it's like red velvet uh, couches. Oh, some and I like glass. I like how you did your wall right here, honey. Yeah. Nice beautiful vases and it's like made out of glass. Godfather music, yeah. Yeah. As many times as we've been to the House on the Rock, I've never noticed this, but they have like these sitting um, chairs and it looks sort of like the, it, sort, it actually looks like the infinity room. So that is pretty neat. And now we are walking into the infinity room. And you know it would be really, really cool if they had this like all open so you could just like see down below like this is, if this, instead of it being rug, it was like all glass. Ooh, so anybody that would be afraid of heights, which is me, would be totally freaked out. <laughs> yeah, so if it's really windy, on a real windy day, this does shake. But I'm going to take you all the way and see what it looks like down below.
real trees. Oh, wow. These are like real trees. And like grow yeah. through here? That is pretty neat. They call it a nice old place. I just love these cool looking lamps. They're like really cool. Oh, yeah. Music machine broke down and they never, uh, never fixed it. Yeah, it's sad. This is like I have like a mini forest inside your own house. How cool is that? Oh, yeah. Wouldn't this be neat, guys, if you had like your own like uh, forest inside your house? That's really cool. That would be really cool. In the summertime, I usually have a, like a water, uh, water. Yeah, like a waterfall through here in the summertime. It's pretty neat. Ooh. You see, you can come here like tons and tons of times and still miss things. I never knew that that lamp up there existed. That's cool. During the summertime, there's usually a fountain going right here. So, so just like how the natural light comes through, these wood panels, nice stained glass, nice uh, religious uh, statue. This is cool how they made it. They put in, they, they added in these red lights to make it look like there's like a fire. Oh wow! That's really cool. We didn't start the fire. Yeah, it was always burning, yeah, so. but the world was turning. We got these vouchers, we do. People can use this. Oh, wow. This is really neat. I just love this table. I think this is so cool. It's dragon lit, lit up dragon diamond table. Yeah, man, that would be so cool to have like in your dining room or your like den or whatever. But that is cool. Oh, and these are some really nice uh, Japanese lanterns too. Yeah, and during the summertime, you come here's like a little water. Water folks are going through here. It's really cool. Yeah. But since this is April, it's, they don't have the water, the inside waterfalls going on up right. here in the house. Yeah. They're either real or replica, I don't know. These might be Faberge eggs. They might be either real or replica, but that's pretty neat. I just love all the uh, natural light that's it's in here. It's so beautiful. And we're going to be going outside to the observation deck. Yes. Wow, folks. Let's look at the view up here. It is beautiful. This is just so neat. Southwest Wisconsin is one of the most beautiful parts of the country. Yes. Sure.
got these four seasons stained glasses. This is autumn, and then winter. And here is uh, summer, spring, and summer. Yep, spring and summer. Okay. Oh, and this right here is my favorite. I would just love to have this sitting right in my living room. This it's is... a Tiffany glass replica. Oh, yes. You want to buy it for me, hon? Yeah, I wish. Mm -hmm. This is pretty cool, like right above the stairs. These nice little uh, sculptures. It's pretty neat. This is like where they sleep. Yeah, so imagine just laying here and then you can just looking right out outside. the nature outside. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Yeah. No, thank you. Honey, you enjoying yourself here at the house on the rock? Yeah, yeah, it's great. So, what did you think of the house so far? It's very good as usual. Yes, I thought it was very unique. Mm-hmm, definitely. Well, we still got quite a walk ahead of us, but... Um, you can see that on other videos that we've done. Yes, but um, yeah, I thought it was really neat, really nice. Mm-hmm. And I'm enjoying myself. Wow, just take a look at that waterfall, folks. It's the new Jap newer Japanese garden. Yeah, this is the newer Japanese garden. And take a look at that view. That is so nice. Yeah, folks, this would be like the old uh, Japanese garden. Much smaller. Yeah. But nice and peaceful, though. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, folks, that's going to conclude it for the house on the rock. Yeah, this is our tour of the house only. We did film uh, videos uh, for the house on the rock. If you uh, look at our uh, other videos, we recorded last year for sections uh, two and three. So uh, last time we weren't able to record the house, so this time we were able to record it. Yeah, because last time I lost the footage to it. So if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe button down below so you don't miss any more coming adventures of Scott and Michelle. And we really want to appreciate you guys, and thank you for watching. Thanks. Stay safe out there, folks. We love you. We'll see you in the next vlog. Thanks.
Thank you.